You know, the thing with working out and running is that it really doesn't help with your breath, with your heart. I just walked up the stairs and I'm out of breath. Well, oh well. Anyway, today is a new episode and as always, my name is Jonathan and you check me out on Fosh Jonathan on Twitter and Instagram where I post all kinds of good stuff with compositing and editing and awesome all of my artworks. And so today I want to take a look at a photo I actually did this morning, uh, just like an hour or so ago. And uh, personally I really like it. I really like the vibe that I got into. And uh, before I continue... As always, posture is important. As I was saying, it's a personal favorite of mine and I'm gonna show you right away because it's this image right here that I'm talking about and I love it. I love the feeling. It gives me a sort of vampire feeling. And, uh, oh, timer is done. That means my laundry is done. It gives me kind of vampire feelings with the uh, with the red tone and black and white. I don't know. It's special to me. I like it. Go right ahead and I'm gonna start this because I started out with this basic image I was looking all over on Unsplash for like a... I'm still out of breath from walking up the stairs. A perfect image for... with that had like lips that was uh, relaxed because when I was looking for it, for the Im right image, I came across a lot of like screaming faces and stuff like that. So I, it was actually kind of hard finding a perfect uh, lip. Yeah, as you can see, I had never ever done anything like this before. Uh, usually the edits I do are more, um, more simple, I guess. It's more like, it doesn't look realistic. Um, but what I wanted to do for this one is that I wanted to be more like creepy and realistic You could almost take it as if it was real um, And so I had no idea how to go about it, but I kind of experimented And what I'm doing here is I'm like trying to close the lips So it doesn't look like the mouth is as open like uh, So I'm doing this instead um, Yeah, and that took quite a long time to figure out how to do and uh, as you can see I first tried to just pinch it together but now I'm like dragging all the different spots and as you can see right here now it's, it looks like it's a lot more closed and it doesn't look honestly it doesn't look that fake like it could look for me at least in my eyes it looks almost real and what I'm continuing to do here is I'm just uh, trying to, since I want those threads to go through the mouth, I'm just dragging the skin since the thread, if the thread goes through the skin, then the skin would obviously be stretched. So that's exactly what I'm doing. As you see me continue working with this, you can tell that I zoom out, and as I zoom out, I look for if, if it looks kind of okay uh, from afar, uh, and if it doesn't, I try to adjust it even more. And that's exactly what I'm doing here, because I adjust the size and the strength of the of the um, liquify tool, and so I wanted to, because I wanted it to be more stretched, even more stretched than it uh, was initially. So I wanted to see that skin uh, skin being dragged, you know. And I will actually continue to drag it even further uh, later on in the video. And what I'm doing here is I'm dragging in the source image again, uh, just to have the fine, uh, not the basic source image left in case I fuck it up, screw it up in, in nicer words. This brush right here that I'm using to imitate the thread, I, uh, it really doesn't look that good to be honest. I have to be completely honest with you, because if you zoom in you can see so clearly and so visibly that uh, it's just a bunch of like basic dots of color especially since it's only one uh, 
one shade, it doesn't shift or anything. I mean, I could, uh, in hindsight, I could definitely adjust the brush so that it shifts in tone. Um, and I'm definitely, if I use it again, I'm definitely gonna change that for the future. Um, and what I'm doing here is I wanted it to have a bit of different colors. So what I did is just, I made a new layer and, uh, or rather I copied the original layer and I changed the color of the new thread which you will see me do in just a moment, I believe. Yeah, so I'm experimenting with how it could look like in different colors. And at first I couldn't figure out how to recolor it. So you, as you see, I just like moved it and I'm struggling to just do, uh, like I try to mask it at first, but I did the wrong uh, opposite direction. So I did the, the color layer, mask that onto the thread, but I should have mask the thread onto the color. Nonsense. It, I, I solved it, that's the what's important here. And also, can we just talk about how creepy it is, these type of images? Like it's, there's something unsettling about like having your lips sewed shut. Sewed, 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 so, so on, sewed, so, uh, sewed, sewed shut, sewed shut, sewed shut, shut shut, shut, shoo shoo. I have no idea what you call it. Anyway, having your lips uh, put together, I will call it. Uh, there's something so creepy about it, because imagine, like, imagine waking up and your lips are soup shut. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it haunts me, creeps me out. You know in like horror movies, sometimes they wake up and their lips are like close together or their lips are completely like grown together even with the skin. Ooh, that haunts me in my nightmares. Um, but it's also very satisfying to make in an image. So, or fun to make in an image, not satisfying. And also the final version, the final result of this is very different from, from what I initially had in, had in mind. It was sort of a happy accident. But as you can see, what I'm doing here is I made a new uh, I made a new um, exposure le uh, level, exposure, I completely lost it, exposure layer, that's what it's called, I know photography, exposure l layer, exactly, and I'm trying to uh, get the shadows right for to make, make it appear as though the lips are like being dragged and stretched and changed in the shape. Uh, and also the lighting in this sort in the source image is perfect. It couldn't be better because like it's so it's very even, but also kind of from one direction, you know. So it wasn't it wasn't boring, but it was also very easy to work with because it's very easy to fake shadow when the source image is kind of basic. And here I'm actually erasing, soft erasing the ends of the so-called threads uh, done because I wanted it, I thought it looked a bit too harsh uh, when it just ends so abruptly and so instead I just sort of faded it out and sure it's very very fake it's super fake but then again who am I? I mean I'm still learning and so that's my way of faking it and you will also see now right here when I finish um, um, uh, erasing parts of the ends that I also made because uh, right now I mean sure it looks good but it could look even better so what I did was I made a new exposure la layer and I uh, first masked it to the threads of course and so then afterwards I could adjust where I wanted the highlights on, on top of it and initially I did like big highlights on like on top of the whole thread but as you can see right here I'm starting to play around more with like tiny tiny highlights because if it was an actual thread you wouldn't it wouldn't be one big highlight it would be uh, since threads are like made of even tinier threads and patterns um, those patterns will be what is highlighted and so that's exactly what I tried to imitate I mean, it, it looks okay, it could look better, but hey, I'm, I'm doing my best over here. 
And also here I wanted to change the color a bit since it felt a bit boring with gray and it didn't blend very well together with the image. Um, kind of uh, faded away, it wasn't very visible. And so here instead I put an overlay layer on top of it to make it uh, pop a bit. A term that I don't want people to use but uh, sure, it pops. And so here I'm got this, uh, I, in my head I got this image that I wanted like a paper cut out of the mouth. Like I wanted the mouth to be looking through a paper, kind of like a torn paper. And so that's what I'm trying to imitate here, or that's, that's the idea at least. And uh, as you can see it um, looks okay, um, looks very boring though, and so that's exactly my thought when I was working with it. Like sure it looks cool, but like there's too much white, it looks very bland I guess. Uh, is a good word, so I'm um, putting it, putting it in, in the centering it, and so also of course painting in more white at the bottom there, as you can see I'm doing it right now. Um, and so then, right now, yes exactly. Now when I after I cropped it, I got the feeling of hmm, let's try changing the uh, layer uh, type, and eventually I will. Uh, after I'm um, resizing this and uh, making the lips appear bigger and more like centered in, in the frame uh, I'm playing around more with the layer type of, of the white as you can see right here and I will end up on the uh, I believe I believe I believe color uh, color difference and so at first I wanted to stop at that one with a black background but uh, I ended up with this black and white instead because I still wanted even though it looked cool with a black background I kind of wanted it to uh, be more than just the lips it felt a bit boring same thing as with the white and so instead I just uh, figured I had uh, settled for this and as always my favorite part of any editing is the split toning because that can drastically change the image so much so much so much uh, so I'm adding a tiny bit of a, a blue tone to it, to the darks. And here also I'm giving it the, what I call the faded look. Uh, you know the look where um, like the blacks aren't completely black. You sort of adjust the curves so a black is actually more grey. And then sort of just gradually building it up and give it a kind of faded look. I don't know. It, it appeals to me and it's very popular on Instagram too, uh, so that's um, I may have been influenced. Uh, and also here I'm playing around with the color correcting tool, because that can also completely change the feeling of the overall image. Uh, but even though I've kind of gotten a final image here, I mean I could just end it right here. I'm continuing to play around, because as I always say, when you have a final image, sure it's very much possible to over edit something. Uh, that's definitely something you should be aware of, but um, personally I like to continue experimenting. Because even though you may think you're done, you can almost always find something that you weren't expecting. And so that's exactly what I'm doing here with the overlay, with the gradient overlay. Um, I wanted it to have even more of a faded look because before this layer the top of the image was was what was uh, more dark and the bottom was lighter and that's definitely not what I wanted since the eyes are up here and the face are is on top of the image and uh, all the like that's what you want I want the observer to see and so I don't want that to be darker than what's actually not important and so that's that. I con could I could uh, continue talking about this for so long, and uh, I'm just gonna end it right there because this final image I am so happy with it, and I can actually even jump back to uh, to the other image, the final image, and show you right there, because I find it look finds that it looks so good to me. To me, this is a personal favorite, and uh, 
I'm very proud of it, and so that's exactly why I wanted to make a video about it. And uh, with that said, I'm gonna jump back to the final, final overlay here. And uh, as always, thumbs up for good luck, send me hugs, send me cookies, send me good, good karma, and send me good luck, and I will do the same for you. And as always, have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next one. But before you do, don't forget to check me out on Twitter and Instagram, where I post all the stuff you see here, and even more. Vi hörs!